everyone, I'm Allie. Join me as I show you how to do Cheryl's dome and leather necklace, whether or not you're using four or three domes or something completely different. You can have fun using the new ultra backing and leather to create a fun look. If you need any materials, go ahead and look below the video in the product description and we'll put a little link there that'll get you back to our website with links to everything we used. Gather up all your materials, some scissors, some glue, and let's get ready to get started. So to start this dome pendant, I'm gonna switch up the design a little bit. I'm using the uh, eight millimeter, 12 millimeter, and 14 millimeter dome. You can see here, I have a little bit of a different pattern than Cheryl's drop here. And we're gonna be attaching to the new ultra backing and just using some glue and some seed beads. So you wanna have your ultra backing, your leather, your cap to go along with it, a clasp that you wanna have, some seed beads, and then have your glue. I'm gonna be using Loctite glue. I like the precision tip. It makes it a little bit easier. And you wanna make sure to have your thread needle to do your seed bead portion and scissors to cut your ultra backing. So the first thing we're gonna do is join these dome beads independent from the leather, and then we're going to sew it onto the leather. I have 15 OC beads here and size eight white dragon thread along with a size 10 needle. I've put a stop bead on the bottom of the thread, and I'm gonna start at the bottom here and sew through the dome bead. Dome beads only have one hole and they're flat on the other side, which is why they're perfect for this. You're gonna grab enough of your 15 OC beads to go around one side of your dome here. So you're gonna add all your seed beads onto the side. You can do this with 11, you can do this with 15s. It's up to you what size seed bead look you want. After you have your seed beads on, you're gonna have enough to get to the other side. You're gonna take your thread and needle through the dome bead once more from the bottom to the top, which is gonna decorate the outside with those seed beads. Do the other side as well, taking your needle from the bottom here to the top to get that whole ring of seed beads along the outer edge. Once you see that you have the extra row of seed beads on the outer edge, what we wanna do is actually close up those rings. So we want seed beads to go along the top and the bottom. My thread and needle is coming out of the top of the dome bead and we're gonna retrace through all of these 15 O's down one side. When we get to the bottom, you're gonna pick up two more 15s and skip over to the seed beads that are on the left-hand side to close this dome. What we do here with this single one, we're gonna do with all of them. However, we're going to use our needle and thread to connect them together as well too. If you wanna just make a simple drop or a pair of earrings, you can simply stop after this one, back it with your ultra suede and go from there. So here at the bottom, you're gonna add two to three of your 15 O's or two 11 O's, and that's going to complete this ring. Skip over to the opposite side, going through all the seed beads as well. That's gonna make it look like a continuous circle as we go towards the top and do the same thing. I'm gonna turn then my dome halfway so the sides are actually to the right and the left, the holes, and then we're gonna get ready to add our 12 millimeter domes to the right and the left of this 14. Once you have the center here all done and wrapped around, you're gonna exit somewhere on the design. Honestly, because we're gluing it down, it doesn't really matter where. The next thing we're gonna do is grab the second cap. We'll wrap that one, then we'll grab the third, wrap that one, and then we will wrap the fourth to the top. So to wrap the second one, we're coming out of one of our cabs. We are going to sew through the dome bead here. And we're going to, once again, pick up 15 OC beads to wrap around it. Once you have your appropriate amount of seed beads wrapped around it, I'm going in here and testing it out. And you're gonna wrap around just through the one side. I have a little bit too many, I'll take a couple off and wrap around the other side as well. When we get to the bottom here, what we wanna do is leave space for us to connect two of those baseline beads around as we're sewing, because remember we sewed around and added a couple extra beads on here. So I'm gonna go in, pull this out here, take a couple of my beads off, got a little excited, and then we're gonna do the opposite side. 
And I'm not going to worry because we are gluing it down that the dome beads bead is spinning around at all or anything like that. So this has the beads now on the side. I'm going to mimic the other side, connect to the two beads here, and we'll go on to connect our third dome. So here you can see my thread ending at the top, and I have 17 beads to the right and to the left of this 12 millimeter cap. I'm going to go back down the line of the 17 50 nos that I added. And then when I get to that baseline, that's where we're going to pick up and share two of the beads that go around the side. So you can see the beads are kind of picking up and going on the exterior of the dome. Again, this is the beautiful thing about this design. It does not matter. So from here, after exiting through these three beads, I'm going to come down to the three beads along the side. And we're going to repeat this on the opposite side too. Coming down here, going to that connection point where my thread is coming out of, I'm just going to pick up the two beads prior to that, sew through those two beads, and then just like we did with the baseline dome, see how this connects those two beads right there, fills in the empty gap. We're going to go up to the top here, fill in two more beads or three more beads here at the top, and then we're going to come back down and get ready to go in and take our next dome bead and add it artistically to the other side. Once you go around the design, adding your three beads at the top and closing off that circle, you can see that the next way to progress is to add another one on the top. We're going to get a little bit more creative and funky, and we're going to add another one to the side here before we add that one to the top. So to add to the side, we're going to have two connection points one right here on our dome bead and one down on the baseline as well. So coming out towards the bottom half of the dome bead, I'm once again going to go through and take my dome bead here and we're just going to sew right through the dome bead and start again wrapping around. So when I wrap around, and remember I had 17 on the last one, so I'm going to get ready and do my 17 along the side. And then as I come back around with those 17, I'm going to pick up again those two right before the threads coming out and connect those two to it. If you want to, you can go right through the dome again. Don't overthink it. It's a fun project. You're just basically connecting what looks like molecules. If you want to, you can also make your life a little bit less stressful and put on a smaller needle. Once it's grouped up there, and you can see it's just kind of hanging out, I'm going to go in, add some more seed beads along the bottom. One, look, and you can see here approximately one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or six here before I connect to the bottom. Five, six, seven. Those seven beads are going to sit in the middle here, right there. And then I'm going to connect to two beads along this outer edge. Going right along here, just kind of seeing where you need to connect. Go through two beads there. And then once again, finish up your loop. Sitting it down here. I would recommend kind of sitting down, flipping your domes around, pulling your thread, pulling that dome in towards the center, and then going in and just going ahead, counting out your seed beads and connecting to that outer edge. The last thing we're going to do is sew around to get to the top here and connect our dome bead again in two sections that way as we do the little one. From here, after connecting all of our seed beads, we're gonna get ready to grab our ultra backing, sew it down, and finish out that section as well too. So once you have your seed beads, you can see, oh, a couple too many. Take those guys off, sew around here, and we're gonna get back up to the top. Once you get your seed beads all the way around your calves, we are going to knot off the thread and then kind of tuck it down 
get rid of this stop bead and we are getting out our ultra back. So our ultra back is going to be used to glue down our surface too. And we're gonna take this here. You can see it just makes those colors so rich too. Just flipping that over, pushing that down. And we're also gonna use the ultra suede and this ultra backing to create our little bale. So we are going to glue this down. We're gonna take our scissors and cut really close. You can trace if you want to and cut it out ahead of time. I'm gonna glue it right down and then I'll cut it out after. You can really get creative if you want to and seed be the ends. We're keeping it really, really simple. Again, don't stress out about this. So I'm gonna get my ultra suede back here. I'm gonna cut it along the line and I'm just using regular scissors here, cutting it right along this line, just getting it a little bit closer for the design. And now I'm gonna go in, again, kind of tucking that thread to the back, go in and I'm gonna glue it toward the bottom of the strip here. Turning those domes down, gluing it right in by the bottom of the strip, making the CB kind of sit below it so that way you don't see a ton of it coming from the front. Again, tuck those strands down below and just let it dry for a little bit glued right on there. I'm gluing it with the Loctite and I'm gonna glue down my domes and that's how it's going to hold in place. After you finish gluing your Ultra Suede to the back and this Ultra Backing, you're going to make your bail. So you can see I've left like a little tag basically up at the top and it's gonna depend on what you wanna put through the bail, depending on how long you want it to be. I'm gonna have mine be interchangeable. So I just cut a straight line. You can get a lot more exact if you want with some great uh, scrapbooking scissors. And we're basically just gonna tuck this down as a little flap along the back and then you will put your strands through it. So I'm gonna go right down here to the middle of that baseline, do a little bit more of my Loctite glue, dab there, pinch down and push down along the back. I'm gonna let that dry and then all I'm gonna do is grab some of my leather, my end cones, I'm going with black to go along with the black and the jet down here, and my lobster clasp, and finish off the necklace just by gluing the ends into a cap and a comb. This one here in Cheryl's example, she did three strands. I think I'll probably stick to three strands or maybe even four going in to this little pendant with that four strand design. Once you're done with your pendant, whether or not you're doing four strands or three strands, it just is a really cool organic -y look that you can change up doing a bunch of different designs, giving you the idea of kind of faux seed bead embroidery. You can even embroider it if you do want to and just have fun getting creative with the domes, some other flat back beads, putting them on some leather and really having fun making some unique pieces. Thanks so much for joining me and thank you to Cheryl for having fun and giving us this fun introduction of working with some of this ultra backing as well as our dome beads to create a faux bead embroidery piece. As always, if you need the materials, go ahead and look below the video in the description and we'll put a link there to get to our site with all the materials listed. Don't forget if you haven't yet subscribed so you don't miss anything from us here at Potomac Beads. Thanks so much for joining in. Have fun creating whether or not you do the three, the two, the one, and really go to town creating these fun and funky dome and leather necklaces.